Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> you can sit down. Thank you very much. Are you well? I'm very well, thank you. And you? I'm very good. Thanks. Did you enjoy your drive on Strictly, however long ago that was? I loved my drive. Yeah, it was great fun. Are you tense? Am I tense? I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm ready. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Will you count us down? Count us down, okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Some really quick questions to start with. What sort of music do you like? Uh, I like um, Jimi Hendrix. Um, I like a lot of classical, Prokofiev, uh, Stravinsky. I just saw your leg go up. Sorry. Whoops, my knee clipped. You <laughs> can't help yourself. <laughs> There's lots of leg movement. Yeah, no, no, I'm a bit of a fidget. Do you dance around the house? Um, with my kids, yes, I do. Have you got any general wardrobe advice? Wardrobe, keep it simple and tailored. Any tips for me? Uh, no, you're doing well. <laughs> Are you a slave to fashion? I'm not a slave to fashion. Uh, it depends. Only if I like it, then I'll become a slave. But if it's not the right year for me, it's not. Now that you don't have to train quite so hard, or train at all, I don't know. We'll no, come to that. No training. No training. <laughs> what do you treat yourself to? Can you eat as much ice cream as you like? I, I treat myself to everything now. No, um, I, I, don't, I still don't like fried foods. So that's quite lucky. Do you read? Do I read? Yes. Television? Uh, do I watch TV? Yes. Do you watch television? <laughs> <laughs> do I read television? No. Yeah. Do you miss being a prima ballerina? Um, I miss... I, yeah, I miss a lot about it, but not the hard work. Now you're a full-time mum. Yes. Tell me about that. Um, no, I'm loving it, yeah. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a full-time cook yet, but I'm getting there. <laughs> but no, uh, they're Have not bored of me. a speciality in the kitchen? Uh, my lasagna, so far, is doing quite well. Okay, your answers can be a little bit shorter if you want now, because <laughs> we've got past the quickfire round. Okay. Tell me a little bit, looking back, about the sort of regime you had to undergo as a ballerina? Um, well, it was more like a, uh, a military exercise, I suppose. Um, it was six days a week, and you didn't really take holidays. If you took holidays, it would be once a year, maybe in August. Um, and it was just one ballet after another. I would be rehearsing about four different ballets at once, and uh, hopefully always working on a new piece as well. So, you know, it was very intense. It wasn't really compatible with children. Did you enjoy it? Did I enjoy it? I loved it. it you, you can only do it if you love it. Uh, it's not a job that you would do just as for the money. Is it, something, any money. <laughs> is it something you'd recommend children going into? I think um, if you have a passion for dance and music, definitely. Um, and you want to be on the stage, it's for you. And I don't think anybody should... No, not attempt something just because it's not meant to be a very long life or, uh, you know, just because it's hard work and stuff. You've got to do these things if you're passionate about them. What did you want to be when you were a little girl? Um, I wanted to be a traffic warden at one point, yeah. You went into ballet quite late. I went into ballet about the age of 13 into the Royal Ballet School, but I did ballet from the age of five. I just wasn't very serious. What sort of childhood did you have? Um, I had a very good childhood, very happy. Um, uh, lived in Notting Hill, actually around the corner, uh, so this is my area. Um, very happy. I went to boarding school, uh, which I thought I'd never do, but I enjoyed that. My first year was a bit terrifying, but otherwise. Did you see yourself very much as a Londoner? I am a Londoner, born and bred, yes, even though I live in Australia. Tell me about Australia. Australia is you an adventure. You are actually half Australian. I am actually half Australian, yes, I'm quite proud of that, um, but I was born in London, so... Uh, this will always be my home, but we're having a great adventure. We've been there about two years now. Tell me some of the cultural differences. Uh, beaches, yes. <laughs> Barbecues. <laughs> uh, it's not snowing. Uh, it doesn't snow often in Sydney. Um, it's just an outdoor lifestyle. Um, and uh, the kids, it's an easier lifestyle. You don't deal with traffic. Have you taken up any sports out there? Um, I love playing tennis, which I always wanted to play um, when I gave up my dancing career so I try and play that um, but um, and I walk the dogs a lot <laughs> what sort of dogs have you got uh, spoodles spaniel poodle it's very popular they're very popular in, in Australia can you give me a typical day now in the Darcy Bustle household um, I walk the kids to school along the foreshore walk which is along the sea um, which is quite beautiful and then I go and walk the dogs then I come home and I sort out the house and be a probably little housewife I'm very good at that not um, <laughs> and, and, and usually I'm learning my skills on the computer considering I've been living in a studio all my life so 
that's a, another little adventure for me. And you've been doing a bit of writing, or creating in a sense. I More creating, yes. I wouldn't say I was a writer. I collaborate with HarperCollins with a great series of children's books called Magic Ballerina, which has been a lot of fun. And, and you've been all inspired by my children. Modelling as well. <laughs> I've done a lot of modelling and bits, yes. Yeah. Big remaining ambition, five seconds to go. Big remaining, oh gosh. Um, well, I, I sort of want to go to the rainforest actually. Well, <laughs> in Australia, that's perfectly possible, isn't it? That's very true. I haven't got up north yet. Up to Queensland. Queensland, that's right. Very nice to meet you. You answered a lot of questions. Thanks you kept you me on my much. toes. <laughs> nice to meet you. I thought you were going to be like, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> well, it was going right. You were laid back, though. Really laid back.